New York Times is looking into uh, reports from the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, that the Obama administration uh, might be uh, stopping some of their regulation in order to help uh, companies. This is what the Bush administration did, right? And now the Obama administration, of course, was going to bring us change. It's not really how it went down. And FDA officials have some complaints about that, most famously when Kathleen Sebelius overruled them and said that, because the FDA said that the Plan B is safe and that you don't need a prescription to get it, you can get it over the counter, uh, even for uh, minors. And Sebelius came in and said, oh, no way, no way, we're going to cow down, a, bow down as always to the pressure from the Republicans and say, uh, we don't care about science and your decision at the FDA. Uh, and what we're going to do instead is, uh, is you know, say that uh, that is not allowed, right? Now, Kevin Drum at Mother Jones has done a good job of breaking down all the FDA's complaints. And he says that's the major one. The other ones are kind of minor, not that big a deal. But he noticed something uh, written in the FDA officials uh, notes that uh, was actually much more interesting. So number one, uh, there was this issue about uh, whether women under the age of 50 should be getting x-rays for mammograms and doctors had decided they had done reports and decided that actually it does more damage than good because you're exposed to the radiation and the risks are not warranted at that point in doing that. When they said that, of course, uh, the uh, conservatives went nuts and they said, oh my God, look at this, this is rationing health care. And they ran with that on Fox News. And one top FDA official said, that that scared the White House. In fact, here's the exact quote. That scared the bejesus out of everybody. Oh my God, Fox News is coming. Everybody run for the hills. Now on a second issue, um, when they tried to get calorie counts on all the different food, including at movie theaters, etc., once again, the conservatives went on the attack. Wall Street Journal wrote an article about it in uh, August 31st of 2010 and saying that it was you know, the wrong way to go. And then a senior FDA official said this about White House reaction. Quote, this was the era of Glenn Beck, and the White House was terrified that Beck would get up and say this is all part of the nanny state. That is one of the saddest quotes I have ever seen. The White House was scared out of their minds from Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck, who was such a clown, such a radical, that even Fox News basically let him go, saying, oh, this guy's too nuts for us. And here is the White House quivering. Oh, what is Glenn Beck going to say? No, let's overrule the FDA. No, 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 FDA, don't do that, don't do that. And this is not an isolated incident. If this was just one quote, I would say, hey, you know what, maybe it's taken out of context, whatever. No, but this is what we've seen a million times. This is exactly why Shirley Sherrod was fired. Remember, there, there was literally someone in the administration who said, we don't want this getting on Glenn Beck's show tonight, so they made sure to fire her. You remember the story? Breitbart puts out the doctored video of her uh, telling the story about how you know, uh, she discriminated against a white farmer, and what they left out was that that was uh, decades ago, and how she learned from it, and how you shouldn't do that. So they, they did a hatchet job on her, and before you even saw the full tape, they had her fired. They had her pull over on the side of the road in a panic, saying, no, you don't understand. You have to resign. You have to resign. We can't have this on Beck tonight. What a bunch of losers. How pathetic is that? And here's now at least a second documented instance where they're like, oh my god, we're so scared of Glenn Beck. Oh, no, no, no. OK, don't do that. FDA. Don't do that. And then I hear from. Democrats that, oh, Jake, you don't understand. President Obama is a genius and brave and courageous, and you know he has just this enormous amount of courage, and you just fail to see it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, of course, their answer will be, oh, no, 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 uh, everybody's lying. Everybody's lying. All the inside sources are wrong. All the reporters are wrong. The New York Times is wrong. Mother Jones is wrong. Everybody's wrong. No, 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 they can't see it. Obama's a genius. Obama's a genius. Obama's brave. Obama's brave. No, 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 don't tell me anything otherwise. Okay. God, these guys, it's not just Obama. I don't want to put, it's the whole administration. They're, they're constantly running scared. It's pathetic.